Uh, so good to have you here in studio. I think Playmaker broke the table right here. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness, right? Uh, but let's talk about Stephen A's Yankees. I mean, Ooh. what's up with the Yankees? Ooh. Stephen A, how are you feeling today? Miserable. I understand. Miserable. I'm very disgusted with um, the Yankees when everybody was celebrating Aaron Judge and his single season home run chase. What did I say on national television? I don't give a damn about all of that. Congratulations, but these are the Yankees that we're talking about. It's not individual accolades we're chasing. It's the chip. And the fact is, you ain't been to the World Series since 2009. Forget winning one. You ain't been there. And you repeatedly lose to the Houston Astros. So I was like, I want to see what you do in the postseason. And obviously, they got swept. And the team is celebrating in the Bronx having champagne draped all over them mm. in the Yankee Stadium clubhouse. I'm appalled. I'm I appalled. understand why. They got outclassed. They didn't just get beaten. They got beaten down. And the Houston Astros have been a better team than the Yankees for going on five years now. Yes. But this was a different level. This was a sweep. This was an embarrassment. This was the Yankees being shown that – they're not just not on the Astros level. They're not even close right now. Yeah. And the fact that Aaron Judge is a free agent right now, the fact that the Yankees still have a payroll that's upward of $200 million, <laughs> that if they re-sign Aaron Judge for $40 million a year, and if, they, and if they go out and add to that, it's going to take it to levels that they have not been comfortable going to. And when you see what's going on in Queens right now, yes. when you see the New York Mets mm -hmm. are the highest spending team mm -hmm. in baseball mm -hmm. and that they got to go out and either get Jacob deGrom back, bring Edwin Diaz back, Brandon Nimmo, on and on, the Mets could have a payroll in excess of $300 million next year. And the question that Yankees fans are asking among many right now mm -hmm. is, why are the Mets more like the Yankees than the Yankees. Well, that's what I've been asking, and I've been asking that for quite some time because I think, listen, if, if, if God rest his soul, if George Steinbrenner was still alive, this would not be happening, okay? They would be spending money. They wouldn't be budgeting, even though, again, their payroll is over $200 million. I get all of that, but here's my question to you. <sighs> I know that the year that Aaron Judge has had, obviously you, you feel compelled to pay him, even though I wasn't pleased with him this postseason. Not good. Having said all of that, what should be the priority? Because I'm looking at a Jacob DeGrom. I, again, Scherz, I know he got smacked around in his, in his game one appearance in, in, a, in a postseason against San Diego. I get all that. But Scherz is still Scherz. You know how I feel about Verlander, even though he was only going to pitch one game in this series. Turns out you didn't need it for anything else. I'm just thinking that you don't win in a postseason. As, as important as bats are, nothing usurps pitching. Mm -hmm. When are the Yankees going to have an elite pitching staff instead of playing against people who have them? Well, it's interesting the way that the Yankees used their elite pitcher in game three. Garrett Cole was out there. Bases were loaded in the sixth inning and Aaron Boone went to Lou Trevino to save what ostensibly was the season right there. I mean, let, let's be honest. They were down two nothing in the series. They were down two nothing in the game. And by the time that inning was done, they were down 5-0. And the way that they've been swinging, the way that the Astros have been pitching, didn't have a chance. And series was cooked at that point. You look at what the Astros have. It's not just the lineup. Like, they can hit. They've hit a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's the pitching. This is one of the deepest yes. pitching staffs yeah. I've question. ever seen. And it's not just Verlander and Framber Valdez and Christian Javier and Lance McCullers at the top. They got a bullpen that runs six, seven deep right now of dudes. These are not just arms throwing slop out there. Guys, if they give up a run or two, you expect right. it. 33 innings this postseason from the Houston Astros okay. bullpen, two runs. All right, so I need a quick answer. What do you do if you're the New York Yankees? Do you resign Judge? Do you go out and get a DeGrom if you got a shot to do it? Because you ain't going to outspend Steve Cohen, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 where do they go from here, Jeff? Stephen A., there's no great solution to this because the reality is if they bring back Aaron Judge, it's going to cost $40 million, and unless yeah. Hal Steinbrenner says, I'm going to expand my payroll well beyond where we've been in the past, then they're going to be stuck where they are right okay. now. And yet, if they don't, if they don't get Aaron Judge, I, what is this team? I know Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.